Hey guys, Joestar here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So this time I decided to connect the Xbox Series X to my Samsung Q7FN. Yes, this is a 4K HDR TV, but this TV came out about two years ago. So it's basically HDMI 2.0. This does support HDR and it also supports FreeSync. It also has auto low game latency. It also has 1440p with 120 hertz support so uh yes if you want to see how this tv performs with this the xbox and the uh the new games well this video is for you i'm also going to share my my settings so welcome to the channel guys i'm jolster and let's do this oh yeah whoa -ho -ho. Alright guys, so let's get into the Xbox settings first on this TV, but before we do that, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Of course, you know, I'm always sharing my own personal opinion and also my own personal settings with you guys. So just in case if you're interested in that, hopefully these videos help you to make a good decision when buying a new TV or what if you already have a good TV like this one and do you really need to upgrade to an HDMI 2.1? Well, let's find out, right? So let's go into the display and TV options. This is of course a 4K TV. As you guys can see, 4K Ultra HD. And we also have the option of 1440p, 1080p and 720p. So this TV can also run native 1440p with 120 Hertz. So this is not an HDMI 2.1, but if you want to use that 120 hertz option, you're going to have to use a 1440p resolution drop. All right, so that is basically what you're sacrificing. Over here, 4K TV details, pretty much it tells you what I just said. It doesn't have 4K 120 hertz, and it doesn't have Dolby Vision. All right, but the rest, everything is with a green check mark. All right. So video modes, pretty much everything is selected. Auto HDR, HDR, 4K, auto login latency. I mean, I love Samsung that even after, you know, a couple of years, this TV still looks amazing. And it has all those HDMI 2.1 features already available. Over scan, I use color depth at 10 bit. All right. And that's it. So let's get uh, some more gameplay with uh, 4K gaming, right? And then I'm going to switch to 1440p in games that are more demanding, like probably Call of Duty, right? This is what I play the most. So let's get back into Borderlands. Let's do this. All right, guys. So this is Borderlands 3, and this game supports HDR. It is also running at 4k at 60 hertz so let me tell you it looks amazing very colorful game that's what i like about this and it's also a shooter so of course you want to have the lowest input lag possible right and also you want to have a beautiful picture so yes this game has everything and it looks great yes. on this tv even though it's only hdmi 2.0 um okay i haven't been to this level so anyways guys stick around because i'm going to share with you my my own personal settings so you can get the best out of this uh the best picture out of this tv so first of all let me just get rid of this guys yeah whoa wow barely level 12 Oh, and it feels very, very smooth, the gameplay, guys. Trust me. It feels very, very smooth, so I like it, of course. This TV also has FreeSync, and I activated FreeSync already. Wow, this weapon. I suck with this weapon. Oh, I don't even know what I did. But that looks awesome. I think I'm going to change my... Oh, that's my helper. <laughs> All right, let me get rid of these guys. 
And then uh, I'm gonna share with you my gaming settings. I think I, I that's it, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So just remember the settings that I'm using are my own personal settings. So you're always welcome to try them, use them, abuse them, but use the ones that work best for you. Okay. Everybody's different. Everybody has different choices. So that's my only uh, take out on this. So let's go into the settings on the TV real quick. Oh, before I do that, just in case if you have one of these TVs, this is what you got to do first. You got to go into general, right? And then external device manager. This is where you will activate game mode, game mode settings. You see, I have it in automatic. So that way, whenever I connect my console, it will detect it and it'll switch to game mode. And then we have the option of game motion plus, but this only works if you turn off FreeSync. So you will have to choose either one of those options. I have done videos on how Game Motion Plus basically is a combination of game mode and motion interpolation. This works great for games that are locked at 30 frames per second. But in this case, this is the new Xbox, so we don't need this right now. At least not for now. FreeSync, I have this one in FreeSync Ultimate, or you can turn it off if you want to, but no. We want to have a smooth gameplay with no tearing and stuttering. And let me tell you guys, it looks amazing. I love it. The, especially this game, I noticed before it had some tearing, but not anymore. Then over here, HDMI, UHD colors. This is where you turn on HDR, okay? So right here, make sure that these are turned on, all of them. Just in case if you switch, decided to switch, and then you don't remember which one is turned on. So I just have everything on, all right? So that's pretty much it for that. And then we're gonna go into the picture setting, of course, expert settings. And this is running with HDR. So of course I want the backlight to be all the way up, get the brightest picture possible. Brightness is in, the, it's right here in the middle. I have it in the middle because brightness, this basically just increases the, the black, the white levels. So you don't wanna do that. Contrast, I have it, this one at 40. Sharpness, I have this one at 5. Color is at 30, so it looks like I did increase the color. Oh, what did I do? There you go. Color, so I have this one in 30. Man, I haven't played on this TV in quite some time, so I just want to remember my settings. Local dimming, so what I did notice that local dimming doesn't really make a huge difference because this TV, this is an edge TV. It's not the best, you know, performance. It doesn't have the best contrast or the black levels, but my gosh, this Q7FN, it has really good uh, brightness, really good brightness and HDR performance. So this is really good for a bright room, just in case if you're, if you have a bright room, this is really good. Contrast enhancer, I have this one in low. Now you can turn it off and you notice the picture gets dimmer. You guys notice? If you tune it high, then it gets really bright, but the colors get washed out. So I like to have it in low. I feel like it's a really good option right here. But if you don't like that, you can basically just turn it off and it, you notice that the picture gets a lot uh, dimmer. So this is my option, low. Then let's go into color tone. I have this one in warm one. I feel like this is the sweet spot for this TV. Standard, cool, it's too blue, cool. Warm too, I feel like also colors get, get enhanced, but it's too much yellowish. So I like it in warm one, that is my my favorite tone. Let's go down here to uh, color space. Now color space, I find something funny here, like very interesting. Usually I, I use an automatic, color space in automatic with HDR because colors tend to look great, right? But what I did notice now that if I change it to native, colors look way better. You guys notice the difference? In automatic, everything looks great, right? Looks good, but I feel like native looks much better now, you know? Uh, colors in uh, automatic look kind of washed out the whole image. And this is just so much better. So I'm gonna change this to native now 
this is just may well maybe now since we're getting uh, uh, the full 10 bit color maybe that's why native is now the best option but uh, guys I guess that's it for this uh, for this TV for this setting Samsung is very easy to uh, adjust those settings guys and yeah let me tell you the gameplay it's super smooth I like this a lot well now it's dark but uh, yeah it looks great let me switch to another game shall we let's do this all right so now let's change to 1440p resolution and 120 hertz and let's see how everything looks right so let's go again to the settings tv and display options so now over here 1440p let's make the switch game mode keep the different refresh rate and automatically switches to 120 hertz so let's go 4k tv details everything looks pretty much the same yes oh one more thing if you truly want to use that resolution you're gonna have to uncheck 4k allow 4k all right so let's do this oh what happened what happened so something happened here I can't see everything <laughs> I can't see anything let me restart the console let's see if that works all right so I had to restart the console let me see if the uh, settings are still the same yeah 1440p 120 Hertz so I don't know exactly what happened maybe maybe what I think is that I still had Watch Dogs Legion in the background running so it probably messed up everything but well let's try uh let's go to call of duty right let's see how that works all right guys so let's play some call of duty and i was able to change the resolution 1440p 120 hertz and let me show you real quick right here in the tv details there it is 2560 1440 freezing 120 hertz so there are two things that you lose while changing to this uh, resolution and performance one is of course hdr for some strange reason microsoft still believes that they should not implement hdr in other resolutions than 4k so that i don't like that but man that has always been like that uh since last generation of consoles and uh and the other thing that you lose is of course resolution so you can't play at 4k 120 hertz but you definitely can play at 1440p natively so yes what do you gain about this so first of all you gain a smooth gameplay right oh my god so that is one thing second of all is that oh 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 how do you see this one? Oh! <laughs> all right second of all you also gain lower input lag so yes this is more for i feel like this this option is more for competitive gameplay so if you're very competitive and you want to have the lowest input lag possible and also a smooth gameplay this is probably the best choice so when I'm playing games like this, this is what I choose. 1440p, 120 hertz. All right, guys. So once again, I'm going to play another game that is very competitive, and this is Gears 5. And I am using the 1440p with 120 hertz option. But now I wanted to share with you what I'm using for the picture settings on this TV. Because what I noticed is that colors uh, in contrast, it doesn't look as good as with HDR. I mean, maybe you won't notice that much if, you're no, if you don't have an HDR TV. But since I do, I do notice the difference. So once you get used to it, you start noticing those little details. So let's go into expert settings. And what I did is like I have uh, these settings to perf uh, to improve colors probably colors is the one that get the most uh you know difference when you're when you have hdr that's why for some reason you want to have 
high dynamic range, right? So backlight, I don't have it all the way up because this gets very bright. And then if you increase the backlight, then what happens is that like you introduce a lot of white throughout the whole picture and the colors look kind of washed out. So I have it at 40. Brightness, same thing. I have it in the middle. Contrast, I have it at 40 as well. Sharpness is at 5. Color, I did increase color to 35. I just want to have a little bit more saturation on the colors. Now tint is in the middle. And then local dimming, I have this one on high. Although, once again, this doesn't make much of a difference. I wish I would have bought the Q8FN because the Q8FN had a really good local dimming and also uh, so good, better black levels than this one for sure. Contrast enhancer, I had this one in low. If I turn it off, actually, you know what? I feel like if you turn contrast enhancer off, it looks better. So I'm going to switch it off right now. Right? And then color tone, I have this one warm one. I did change something else. I believe I changed gamma. So yes, gamma, I decreased it one point. I don't know. It just feels like it, it has better contrast when I decrease it, um, when I put it to minus one. So that is just my opinion. It is my choice. Remember, if you want to try the settings, go for it, try them on, and then make your own personal changes. So right here, color, space. Once again, I'm using native automatic. Yeah, no, native definitely looks much better. I always use native on SDR. Looks so much better in native. So that's uh, those are the settings that I'm using right now when using SDR and it looks great. Let's get some gameplay. Let's do this. So those are the options for my settings on this TV. If you have a Samsung TV, maybe you have the Q6 FN, Q7, Q8, and Q9 from 2018, you're able to use these picture settings. I think also the uh, newer models, I think they are very similar. Try them, try those settings on newer models, and let me know in the comments what do you guys think about them, all right? So that's it for this video, guys. Man, there's no gamers here. That is so weird. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. All right? I'm Jolster. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.